Ace Crash with Radar Contact. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about corporation fittings, but first, uh, please feel free to go click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Let's get started. So if you're new to the corporation and you're trying to figure out what to get fitted into, what kind of ships there are to fly, uh, one of the best ways to find that out is to go into your corporation fittings and see some of the ships that are in there. For the most part, we have a lot of a newer player type ships that we have built. Um, so in order to get there first, there's, there's a couple different ways. I press Alt F myself. That brings up this fitting screen. If you've never opened the screen before, yours is probably going to open and look something like this. Um, the two main parts of it that I use are right here. You've got this little open-ended wrench. You can click that and that pulls out your your uh, your side piece here. Uh, when you pull it out, yours is going to look like that. It's going to have all these ships in here, but none of these are fitted. On the right side, you've also got this attributes tab, view the holes, attributes, and stats. So then you're going to click that one and you're going to have that one open. And I almost always have these open. You can open and close them for, for room if you have too much stuff on your screen or whatever you have going on. So first what we're looking at is because we pressed Alt F, which let me show you real fast. The other way to get to it, instead of pressing Alt F, is to go to your hamburger. You know, go to ship and then over here it says fitting. You can take this, you can drag it down to your toolbar if you want, and it'll stay in your toolbar. All right, so when you press Alt F or you go into your ship fitting screen, it's going to automatically pull up the ship you're in. So this is the ship I'm currently flying right now. I've got it named right here. It's just named X. And there's this tab that tells me what I might be missing in order to fly it. So I've got an offline module, which I know about. It's right there. This is also going to give you information if you can't fly a ship, if you need skills. Uh, if you need requirements to use something that you have installed on it, it's going to tell you if your CPU down here is not enough or if your power grid is not enough to use all the modules that you have installed on. So let's say you want to fly a venture. You can either find a venture by clicking through all this. If you know what where to go and find it, it's really easy. Frigate's going to be under Frigate and then non-Empire. And then there's your venture right here. So that's one way to do it. But if you don't know exactly where it's at, you can also use the search bar here and type in venture. And it pulls up that name. Frigate, non-Empire, same thing we went to before right here. You're not going to see these safe personal fittings or safe corporation fittings until you've joined a corp. After you've joined the corp, you will be able to, and you can filter them by going to these filters right here. The main filter is going to be personal fittings, and then the second filter would be corporation fittings. So right now, if we click corporation fittings, it's going to show us these three here. If we deselect that, and we type just personal fittings, it's going to show us these two. So these are my personal fittings that only show up on my computer. These three are corporation fittings that will show up on any player within this corporation that wants to look for a ship. So now if you don't know exactly what you want to fly and you're just curious what the corporation has saved, then you can clear out the search item or the search term box. You can click corporation fittings filter and these tabs are the ones that we currently have ships in our corporation fittings for. We can add more. We're planning on adding more as time grows, but for now, this is what we have. So let's just start with the frigate, since that's what most people can fly in the beginning of the game. And that's where I would start if I was a new player and start learning how to fly pretty much all of these. So when you open up your frigate, you've got the different factions. So Amar, Kaldari, Galente, and Minmatar, and then Non-Empire, which is your venture. So here we can go to Amar. Let's say we want to fly this crucifier. So we click crucifier. We see we've got one right here. It's called an E-War Tracking Disruptor Crucifier. So we click it. It automatically shows us how the corporate, whoever saved it to the corporation fit it what, with whatever modules they had planned. Right here is a, the cargo hold for, for this ship. It's the things that may be extra 
So in this case, there's optimal range disruption scripts, which these disruption scripts would go and be placed in here uh, when you actually build the ship. So there's one, two, three, and that's how, how that's done. Uh, below that is the drone bay. This is the drones that whoever added. So this one, for instance, has three hobgoblins in it. Now you'll see over here on the right, this is your attributes tab for your particular ship that you have inside here, whether you have a simulation, which we currently have a simulation for the crucifier that we selected. So this simulation is showing us what we can do with our current skills and the current fitting that's on here. So you have a capacitor tab, an offense tab, a defense tab, targeting, navigation, and drones. All right, so let's quickly build a uh, proker, for instance. Um, we'll go from start to finish, and you can see how it's done. First, we're going to click over here on the search term bar, and we're going to type in what we want. So there it is. We're going to go mining barge. We're going to click on this proker and click simulate ship. It's going to open up a blank, empty slate for us to start with. Uh, so let's go ahead and build a defensive proker, which is what it's built for so try it out so I'm gonna get rid of everything in this search bar this search bar is associated with this holes and fit tab this holes and fit tab is only your ships every ship that's in the game I do believe including structures and all sorts of different things uh, so we shouldn't need that one for the rest of this build now we're gonna go over to the hardware tab the hardware tab has two other tabs in it one is a modules tab and one is a charges tab there's filters here that you can use to help you find things easier. So if we know, for instance, we want something for our low slot, we can click the low slots and it gives us only things that are available for our low slot. Let's put a damage control on one of our low slots here. So we can either type in damage control here or we can go to hole in armor and we see there's some damage control. So what we're going to look for is this damage control too. So when we type it in, we just have to type in damage and it pulls up a list of anything that says damage. We can take this damage control we can put it right there. Let's also use a mining laser upgrade. So mining laser upgrade 2. We'll put that right there. So now we have our low slots filled. We don't need that anymore. So we can uncheck the low slots. So we want a strip miner for instance. So we'll just put two strip miners in there. All right, so our high slots are filled, our low slots are filled. Typically, I'll start with the high. I was kind of going left to right on this. But uh, you want to start with what you have to have and then slowly fill up because after your CPU is gone or your power grid's gone, you can't actually fit anymore. Next, let's go ahead and throw some rigs on it here. So here are the rigs. You can click rigs here or you can type in what you want. Let's go armor rigs, uh, medium armor rigs, because that's the size of this ship. We can put on a medium transverse bulkhead. We can put on another one and another one. You can go through all these and see if there's any other ones you like. So now we have all three of our rigs in. Just be aware that once you've installed a rig, once you've bought it and installed it, you can't change these out. These are stuck here. The only way to get rid of them is to destroy them and pay for another one. So now you'll see we still have 183.2 CPU left over and a power grid of 43.0. So we can put some more things in this side. So let's go with some shields. So here's our mid slot. We'll go ahead and look at some shield items. We've got shield boosters, shield extenders, shield hardeners. We'll throw on a medium shield hardener, multi spectrum hardener. Let's go with the EM. EM hardener, and as you can see, the more stuff we put on, the lower the CPU power gets. The power grid also changes here. Let's just do a thermal hardener to finish this up. Thermal hardener. So now you can see this procure has now got a defense of 69,744 EHP. It can mine, and on this character who's not a miner, 883 M3 per 180 seconds. And we've just built our first ship. If we want to put some drones on it here, 
We can put some drones. Put on a Hobgoblin 2. So you can see we can fit 50 M3 of drones in there. We'll get rid of these. We don't really want those in there. Uh, you can add whatever you want to your cargo hold. You might want mining crystals if you had different miners on here or whatever. So once you've once you fit your ship, now we're going to save it. So we click up here on this little paperclip looking deal. We can name our ship. Tutorial Procure. Now, if, in my case, I have the option to save it for the corporation or I can save it for myself. You may only have the one for yourself, but either way, you can click Save for Crash Jericho. Now, if I want to find that, all I have to do is go back to Holes and Fits. I can go to Personal Fittings. I know it's in my mining bar. I know it's a mining barge. I go there, and there's my Tutorial Procure. I'm going to load it up, and there it is. So now let's say you have a Strip Miner 1 on, you just skilled up, you want to put a Strip Miner 2 on, and you want to make sure you can fit it correctly. So you can just take these off, since you've just simulated this fitting. You can find what you want over here in your hardware. So we'll do Modulated Strip Miner. All right, so Modulated Strip Miner 2. We can slide it over here, put it on, we can adjust anything else that we may want to change in the game as we increase our skill levels. And then again, we can come back over here and we can change it. So it's going to add it to this little star here. I just take the star away. So this is a little bit of an upgraded procure. So we're going to call it Tutorial Procure T2 for Tech 2. Now we're going to save again for Crash Jericho. Come back over. Now you've got the tutorial procure, the tutorial procure T2. And that's how you adjust ship fittings to suit your needs. So if somebody were to send you a ship fitting and you couldn't use something, so let's say you didn't have the skill to use this Tech 2 thermal shield hardener, but you could use the Tech 1 version. To use the Tech 1 version or find it really easily, all you have to do is click the show info button. It brings up the Thermal Shield Hardener 2, tells you about it. There's the attributes about it. Here's where it fits. It's a medium power fitting. It uses this much CPU. It uses this much power grid. Here's the requirements in order to use the T2. So if you couldn't use it, then you would see one or two of these blocks are missing. But you can go into variations, and you can see all the lower class. So even though you can't fit a Thermal Shield Hardener 2, you can probably fit one of these top three, a Thermal Shield Hardener 1, or a Compact, or an Enduring. If you want to know, then you can just click on them. Click the eye. Now, Thermal Shield Hardener 1 is up there, and you can look at its requirements. Okay, cool, we can fly that. If we want to use that one, we get rid of this module, and we just take the picture off of here and fit our Thermal Shield Hardener 1. And now you've adjusted your fit, and you can resave it again by clicking up here and saving as whatever name you want. Once you're done and you want to show off your fit, you can just take the name up here, Tutorial Procure, you throw it down in your chat, let all your buddies see it, ask them if it looks like a good fit, whatever, however you want to do it. You can drag and drop the name that way. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it helped in some way. Uh, please click the like button if you found this video helpful, and maybe consider subscribing for future videos. Fly Dangerous.